today we are going to use a Z50 machine together with a video extends two camera system which is mounted inside a big case together with a front light. The big advantage of a video extends with two cameras is that we get a very high resolution on a wide range. The both images cover the total length of the rebar steel. The biggest problem of those rebar steel tests are that uh, we want to do a test according to norm and the diameter of the rebar steel is very often very small. So with an A5 or A10 test we have a very short gauge length. So compared to the big length of the rebar steel, we got a very small gauge length. So it's very likely that the break is outside of our gauge length and the braking strain cannot be determined correctly at the end of the test. Luckily, the video extends has a function which is called video extends rerun. The video extends records the images during the test, and afterwards we have an image sequence which we can re-evaluate. That means we open the image sequence and check where the necking and the breaking point of the rebar steel was. With the shifter on the top, we can watch and uh, browse through our recorded images and see the necking position. As a next step, we shift our two evaluation fields and position it around the necking and breaking point to exactly 80 mm gauge length. Now we can re-evaluate the strain with the new positions but the same gauge length and we get the correct values by loading the old load values and synchronizing it with new evaluated strain values. Next step, we import the new generated file into TestExpert to be able to display the old and the new file with the strain values. Now you can see the big difference between the first and the second strain evaluation and so the breaking strain can be correctly determined. A second function of the video extends is the strain distribution function. The strain distribution function allows to spread different markers all over the free length of the rebar steel. Therefore, the software is able to center around the necking point at the end of the test. In the video extend setup, it's possible to set up to 16 targets. In our case, 10 should be sufficient, so we put the number of targets to 10, but the virtual LE0 will be 80 mm as required. The output of the video extend strain signal will start at 80 mm, although it will monitor the total length of the rebar steel. 
here we manually spread all the targets over the total length of the Reaper steel and the violet area is the overlapping area between the two camera images. When the video extends program is opened and shown at two monitors, we can see the total free length of the specimen. Since the video extends measures between each two targets, it can determine exactly where the maximum strain occurs at the moment and it marks the used targets green. At the end of the test, the video extends will measure around the necking point because it recognizes that the maximum strain is occurring exactly there. Therefore, it's able to center around the necking point with the measurement gauge length. Using the strain distribution function, the video extends will never fail to determine the correct braking elongation and braking strain. Therefore, a rerun after such a test is not necessary anymore.